this is Astuti Singh standing in front of you. Today we will discuss one of that important topic that is administration of injection. Administration of injection through parenteral roots means giving the injection by using syringe or infusion or medication which are given to the parenteral roots are absorbed more rapidly than the medication which are given from the other roots. So what is injection? Injection means a substance or a solution or suspension which are, uh, which are prepared by dissolving its content. Next is injecting. What is injecting? Injecting means inject the syringe or inject the solution or suspension by the, the use of syringe or the needle to get the therapeutic effect. So next we will see what is the purpose of injection, administering injection. First purpose is to provide or to take the therapeutic effect of these drugs or second is to uh, give that drugs which are unable to give orally or to provide medication from those patients who are unconscious or who are unable to swallow due to some neurological or surgical alteration. Next is to provide the medication to, to get the nourishment of the body which the patient cannot take in by orally to restore the fluid volume of the patient by providing these medications. Next is the side types of injection. There are various types of injection which are we given and there are different types of route by which we can given these injection. Firstly, we will discuss about the subcutaneous. What is subcutaneous route or subcutaneous injection? Subcutaneous injection means the injection which are given by the subcutaneous tissue means subcutaneous injection. Next is intradermal. Intradermal as name suggests the injection which are given at the dermis layer it is called intradermal injection. Next is intravenous or intraarterial injection. Intravenous injection means those injection or medication which are given at the veins is called intravenous injection and those medications or injections which are given at the arteries is called intraarterial injection. Next is the intramuscular injection. Mu intramuscular injection means the injection which are given at the muscles is called intramuscular injection. Next is intraperitoneal. Intraperitoneal means those medications which are given at the peritoneal cavity is called the intraperitoneal injections. Next is the intrathecal or intraspinal injection. Intrathecal and intraspinal means the medication which are given at the spinal cord is this called intrathecal or intraspinal injection. Next is intraosseous injection means the medication which are given at the bone marrow it is called intraosseous medication. And the next is the hypospray. That name suggests in the hypospray we can spray the medication on the over the skin or the tissue in which we can create a pressure of 125 pounds which can uh, which can force the medication to spray out. In this there is a there is no rashes or there is no marks on the skin. So these are the type or we can say that in Infusion. infusion when we large amount of or bolus form of medication we have to give it then we can use infusion last is transfusion when the blood or whole plasma we can we have to transfuse into the patient then we can use transfusion so these are some types of uh, injection which can we use next is the what are the some factors which can favor the injection so firstly we will discuss about the what are the factors so first factor is blood supply of that area because you know that the blood uh, the medication is uh, dissolved is rapidly in the blood so when the that area if there is a good blood supply then that area can get more rapidly absorbed next is the massage while we do the massage at that area the blood flow is high then it dissolves more rapidly then heat of that area if we apply the heat then blood vessels are dilate and blood flow more rapidly than other some physical factors physical factors involve if there is a skin rash lesion in this uh, in that case the medication is not uh, not dissolved rapidly so there are some allergic reaction also of the medication while we given the injection route there are some allergic reaction like firstly we have seen the allergic reaction skin lesions bleeding trauma pain on that area inflammation rashes and sometimes continuous bleeding we can also see and by using cannula we can say the infiltration on that area so these are the some factors which can uh, these are the some allergic reaction of that area or we can also say that these are the complications next is the what are the sites so we will discuss about the firstly we will discuss no sub subcutaneous injection where we can give the subcutaneous injection subcutaneous injection we can given from the upper aspect of the forearm 
upper back and the upper chest. Then next is the IM injection. There are only four types of sites where we give the IM injection, which is uh, deltoid muscles on dorsogluteal, on ventrogluteal and vatris lateralis. Next is the intradermal. Intradermal injection we can give in the upper aspect of the forearm on the and the upper chest and the upper back. Next is the subcutaneous. Subcutaneous injection we can give in at the thigh and the abdomen above from the 2 inches outer aspect of the buttocks and then intravenous intravenous we can belong uh, to the cephalic vein basilic vein the and uh, others veins we can easily give in the intravenous injection so now last but not the least what are the nurses responsibility of administering injection nurse play a very vital role in this so firstly nurse should check the physician orders what are the drug administered at what time in that uh, administer and what are the dose of the administration then nurse also knows about the rights all rights there are 10 rights so she follow all the rights and after administering the medication during this she can maintain a aseptic techniques after that she can gather all the articles recording and reporting must be done after and teach the patient if there is any complication or any problem she, uh, she can identify and then tell to the physician to resolve this problem and tell the allergic reaction like skin rashes or irritability anxiety to the patient so these are some nursing responsibility which have to follow so in today's class we will discuss about the administration of injection what are the types of injection where are where what are the favorable factors, what are the complications, what are the sites and the nursing responsibility of administering injection. I hope you all understand the topic. Thank you.